Welcome to the crib. This is a 10 by 10 wall tent that I live in for the summer. Let me show you around. I'm living in this 10 by 10 wall tent for the summer. It's on a 100 acre property outside of Asheville in the Blue Ridge Mountains. This tent has two of everything, two windows, two doors, two outhouses. The property has a farm, several houses, tons of dogs, animals, even a pond. I rent the tent on a 100 acre property that borders a national forest in the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'm surrounded by mushrooms and plants and I go foraging every day and build campfires. The tent is from Wall Tent Shop. It's a 10 by 10 canvas tent and it holds up nicely in the summer rain as well as it stays cool in the summer heat. My neighbors have two white duck tents and these are another excellent brand of wall tents. Further into the forest there are a few more structures that are standing on the land. This amazing pavilion was just recently built and it's going to be used to host all sorts of events here in the woods. When I'm hiking through the woods and wilderness, I always keep an eye out for edible mushrooms, like this lobster mushroom. These are delicious and taste similar to seafood like lobster or crab. Here we have a bolete that stains blue whenever it's bruised or cut. There are several varieties of boletes that stain blue and some are edible, but you always want to get a positive ID to make sure you have the right mushroom. Bolites are a major category of mushrooms that are often sponge-like with big caps. I just harvested a bunch of reishi mushrooms. Reishi is an herbal mushroom that helps balance the immune system and help the body deal with stress. This mushroom grows primarily on hemlock trees and you can find it during the summer months. June and July is peak reishi season, so I've been harvesting a lot of these big boys. Mm -mm. These are fully mature and have released their spores, so this is the time I collect the most of them. These mushrooms are one of my favorite medicinal mushrooms and helped me get into foraging when I was younger. After I harvest the mushrooms, I clean them and then I dry them in a dehydrator. I use these mushrooms to make tea and tinctures. You can find dual extracts of these mushrooms on my shop, sonofabear.shop. Late June and July is also peak season for chanterelles in North Carolina. The miniature cinnabar chanterelles are often the first variety to fruit. These chanterelles are tiny, but they're extremely vibrant. So today we're going to be making chanterelles with s'mores over a campfire. These are a fairly sweet mushroom. They smell like apricots, so we're going to see how well they go on s'mores. So here we have the world's first chanterelle some more. Let's see how it tastes. Not bad. Mmm. Sweet and savory. Later in the evening there was an intense rainstorm that lasted an hour or two. The wall tent held up pretty nicely in the rain. Thank you. 
After the rainstorm, we had a calm and peaceful night. The next morning, there were a ton of new mushrooms after that rainfall. After going on a short hike, I immediately found a huge flush of oyster mushrooms. They were in perfect condition. Winner winner chicken dinner. I found this massive chicken in the woods mushroom growing on a hardwood tree in my backyard. This is one of the most easy to identify mushrooms in the forest. It has a vibrant orange top to it with a vibrant yellow underside and tips. It also has very small pores in the bottom. This mushroom is also delicious and tastes a lot like chicken as the name would suggest. This is so fun. <laughs> I put a mess of my cutting board though. No, you shouldn't. You right. <laughs> Couldn't handle the pressure. And now you go. Yeah, thank you, Merlin. I'm gonna use the chicken of the woods mushrooms I foraged to make one of my favorites, barbecue chicken pizza. I used a store-bought pizza kit to make this meal, so it's basically a glorified Lunchable. We're putting the mushrooms on the pizza. All right. All right. Yeah, look at that. Mm. It's gonna be good pizza. Yum. Yum. Good movie time. Mm. Yeah. The barbecue chicken pizza turned out fantastic. I highly recommend making this if you find some chicken of the woods. It's movie time! Movie time! <laughs> I love movie time! Me too. Movie and pizzas! It's movie time on this day! Yeah! I'm going to be creating more off-grid living and foraging videos like this one. So subscribe if you haven't yet, and stay wild my friends.